Good morning children. Today our topic is motion and measurement of distances. So what is motion? If you say that an object it changed its position from one point to another point, you can say that the object is in motion. Right? So object is changing its position. It's moving. The movement is called as motion. And measurement of distances. An object it moved from one point to another point. Here the point A, here is an object. Here the point B, this object it moved from here to here. So you call this as motion. Object moved from position A to position B, you call it as a motion. But here the question is how much distance it traveled. So what is the distance between point A and B? Somebody told you the ball has gone from A to B. So you notice that there is some motion. Yes, it, there is some motion because it moved from place A to B. So motion is there, it's fixed. How much distance it moved? That is the measurement of distances. Actually, how to do this? In this lesson, we are going to understand the types of motion and how to measure the distances between two different points. So let us begin with the very well known thing, the transport that we see every day, we use every day. You are using transport to come to your school. You see that your friends and yourself, you are going to school by different means of transport. You may be taking the school bus, your friend may be taking uh, his own car, his or her father may be dropping in their own car or on their own bike. Some people may be coming in the auto rickshaw. Some people may be coming by walk. If their house is very close by to the school, they may be coming by walk. Some by their own bicycles, they ride and come to the school. So you see that's a bicycle. It's a means of transport. Bike is a means of transport. Car is a means of transport. School bus is a means of transport. So they are using different means of transport to come to the school, the same point. Right. You might be going out for your vacation, outing, out of station to the pilgrim spots or tourist spots with your parents in summer holidays. You may be going to your grandmother or grandfather's house. How do you go? You take a means of transport. You go by either bus or by car or by motorbike if it is very close. Or if it is very far, you take a flight or train, you book a train ticket or you may book a flight if they are staying abroad, they are in US or Australia, Canada, you are going by flight. So you are taking a particular means of transport depending upon the distance. See here the point, if it is a very close by distance, you take some bicycle or motorcycle. If it is very far distance, you take a train or a flight. So it all depends upon the distance. So we have different means of transport. As I told you that we have cycle, we have bus, we have car, bike, train, flight, all this. Right. So which one do we choose? We choose the means of transport on basing different factors. One is the distance. The first one is the distance. Second one is the your budget affordability how much you can afford you can buy a flight ticket and go in flight you can take a train ticket and go in train but there is a lot of variation in the price even though the difference is uh, distance is very high so anyway we are not going to talk about this let us see the distance depending upon the distance we will choose the means of transport your mother asked you to go to the grocery shop, go to the mart and buy some grocery items or vegetables. If the market is very close, you go by walk. If the market is very far, you take the bicycle. If it is too far, you may ask your father or somebody to drop you at that point on their motorbike. So distance is the factor that decides what kind of transport that we choose. Right? So before we see that, let us see the transport and the history of transport, how the transportation is developed and what are the various means of transportation, modern transport have come into use. 
In the olden days, there was no technology in ancient times. People used it to use wooden logs for their travel. Wooden logs to travel in water. There were no boats and ships, just wooden logs. The cut wooden logs were used to Used as, it was used as a means of transport by the people to travel or to cross the rivers or to cross the channels, canals and all. Right. So later they started using the wooden logs to construct boats and later they developed into big ships. So that was the thing how the ships were evolved. People started inventing, combining their ideas and creating a new thing that has happened in such a way. So later, the transport on the road, it was very difficult. Till when? Till the invention of wheel was done. Wheel. So that was a great invention, wheel. Because it changed the phase of the transportation. So because of the wheels, they could make carts. So these carts are powered by animals. So the carts were pulled by animals. Horse, tongas, horse, horse pull the cart. Bullock carts, bullock pull the cart. So here the thing for the cart to move smoothly, it need to have a wheel. So invention of the wheel led to so many developments and inventions in science. So, fire and wheel are considered two major inventions in science. Right? So, wheels were discovered. They were invented. Right? So, now wheel, it allowed to make so many vehicles. They are powered by animals. So, later, what was happened? Later, there was a new machine came into use which replaced the animals. The machines they could run on their own with the help of a engine. So the steam engine, James Watt steam engine. So the steam engine, it allowed the vehicles to go on their own without the help of animal power or human power. Right? So the steam engines. So after this steam engine, after the invention of this steam engine, so what happened? It changed the total thing. Motors have come. So these motors, they are running the vehicles. Motor vehicles have come. So after that, aeroplanes have come. Right? And after that, these motors are uh, fixed to the boats. Mechanized boats have come. Ships have come, which are running automatically with the help of steam. Motor vehicles have come, trains have come, right? Locomotives, the trains. Now we have electrical trains, monorail, supersonic flights. And we have space shuttles to travel into the space also. Spacecrafts also have come. And now at this particular point in 2017 and 18, we have so many different modes of transportation is going to come into use where you need not use your brain to navigate yourself to where, which place you are going. Your computer, if you feed it in your computer or in your mobile, it can take you to the place where you want it to go. It can navigate, right? It can drive you to your destination. So such a sophisticated transport system uh, is going to come. So this is all the advancement in the transportation, but it has begun with the wheels, and then motor vehicles, steam engines, later the discovery of electricity, the combination of mechanics and electricity. So finally, it has come to so many new modern vehicles and modes of transportation. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.